One of the key members of staff doing any pre-season training camp will be the club's head of conditioning. At Cardiff City, that man is Rene Skovdal, brought in by Ole back in January, with the two having worked together in Norway for Molde. Rene has a dedicated team of full-time staff and interns working for him, a number of whom have joined to assist him here in Austria. We caught up with Rene today for the first feature interview of this tour. Remind us of the benefits of why we come away somewhere like this for pre-season training. Well, it's uh, first of all, it's always good to have the boys together. Um, it gives us a chance to uh, fully focus on the football, uh, be away a little bit from the, uh, the normal daily routines that each of the players have. Here they can fully focus on, on uh, training, performing, getting the food right, getting the sleep right, getting the rest in. So, uh, so this means 100% fo pure football. How important is it to have a, a lovely climate to train in? Well, it's always it's always nice to to come out in these surroundings. That's got to be inspiring and really confirming in life in general. To see this, uh, I have to say though that the ground back at the Vale is very nice as well and very confirming. Uh, but just new surroundings, uh, new climate is always is always good for the boys to experience. Uh, that always sharpens them up a little bit. How do you assess the overall level of fitness of the squad at the midway stage of preseason? Well, I'd like to actually answer that in two ways. First of all, I'd like to say that the uh, the boys came in, in in very, very good condition. They looked after themselves uh, during the break, first of all. Secondly, I'd like to say also that they have really, really hard so far. So they are really, uh, really getting to where we want them to uh, already. So that's very, very positive. The decision to play during these training camps varies between clubs and managers, but it's something that Rene believes will benefit the squad greatly before they return to home shores. So it's always good to get match fitness in because that's a little bit different from the way we train. When we train we can obviously monitor it exactly the way we want to, whereas in the matches we're not fully in charge of how we monitor because the, the other team will be in possession about half the time. Uh, but it's always nice to get different teams to play against, play against the more continental style, to give the players some more experience. It's always good experience to play against teams that you're not used to playing against. It, it, it means that the player has to reflect more on his performance what he needs to do tactically, technically, mentally, physically. So, th so that al that's always good ch a good challenge. And how does the rest of the week going to pan out? Well, we're going to play three games in, 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 in seven days. So obviously we need to, uh, to take that into consideration in terms of how we uh, plan the sessions. Uh, but now that we have the players here, obviously we want to make as much use of the time that we have available. What staff have you got here helping you with the players' preparation this week? Well, we got we got uh, Mike Beer, who's the, uh, the strength and conditioning coach, and then we got uh, Ben Perry here, who's a sports science intern. So we have a really, really good and strong staff. And finally, are there any particular players stood out with their, their fitness so far? Obviously, there is a few who have been outstanding, but I'd say in general, because I don't really want to point one or two players out when I think they all deserve a lot of credit for, for the effort that they have put in so far. So I think in general, it's looking really, really good. It's been a common theme since Ole took the reins at Cardiff City back in January. The training sessions end with finishing practice. Here's some of the best bits from today. <laughs> 